Hello guys, Beast here and back again with the tutorial of the Camtasia Studio that I promised. So first off, let's start by clicking on the icon of Camtasia Studio to open it up. So now when it opens, as we have said before, all you need to do is click on new project. This checks for updates. Of course, if you have uh, purchased the software, you can, uh, of course, check for update and update it for free, as we have talked in the last tutorial. Now, this is the first thing that you will see. This is the layout of the, or, or the, of the Camtasia. And the most important thing is this here is the timeline where you will manage your project and here you can put the import the media to play with it. Uh, of course, these are all the features that are in Camtasia Studio that we will talk probably about most of them, but not all of them. All we need now to do is to know how to uh, make the project create your first video, which is really easy and friendly software. So in order to import, and, uh, to import your media, you need to either click here and import it, or you can click here and import your media. And actually you can, I think, uh, import media from somewhere here. Um, here you can click import and import media and will, this will pop up. And you can, of course, choose the folder you want. Or of course you can, the easier way is to import it by going to your folder that let's say I want to, to import uh, this video. So I just drag it and put it in my media bin. And there you go. This is the video that we will work on. And there is another way you can imp uh, import by dragging, which is let's say I want this video. So I will drag it and put it in directly in my timeline, wherever I want, let's say here. And as you can see, it's here. Okay, let's see the basic features and how can we do, what can we do actually with Camtasia. Um, let's, I can, I, of course, as you can see, I already dragged this one here, but I can drag this one as well like this here and put it wherever I want. And if you want to remove it, you just press the delete button on your keyboard or you can right click and press delete and it will get deleted from here, but it will stay here. So don't worry about it. You see, I can all, 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 one more time. I can drag it from here. Okay. So let's see the features, what we can do. This is the timeline. You can click play and see the video for yourself. As you see, it's already playing. This is the canvas that you can see the video playing. You can play around with it like that to make it smaller or bigger, depending on how much of your timeline of your timeline you need. <laughs> and as you can see, it already switches from one video to another because we put them one after the other. If you don't, it will make something like that. As you can see, it's black screen. And why is that is because you can play with it with the project settings right here. You can make it, for example, white, as you can see, it's white now. And let's make it uh, the black, which is the <laughs> default one. And the, can uh, the canvas dimensions, you can play with it, but I prefer if you don't, because it will automatically take your dimensions from the video you have put and it will translate it here. And one more thing is that you can make it fit. Uh, let's say, okay, let me show you. Ah, I will show you later, but like right now I can make it fit and it will fit all the screen here. And of course you can pop it up like if detach canvas and when you detach it, you can have more space like that. Like, so you see, you can see that this is my canvas and now I can actually make it bigger like that. And I can see my video right here. And actually I can make it as big as the screen. Of but for now, let's reattach it by clicking here and I reattach it and make it like that for, and make it fit. Okay. Let's see now other stuff. Okay. First of all, let's fit it. Okay. So what can we do with it? First of all, you need to know the, this stuff here because it's very important. This sign here makes you split. Like for example, I click on this one and okay, let's remove this one from here. I click on this one and if I click on it, 
as you can see I split my video in half or wherever I am actually okay let me control Z or you can press right here um, to of course if you want to like you see I make it back together because I just undo my process you can press on the S button and you can split it this way as well uh, okay for you now it's the split button and the undo button are the most important ones and here of course you can make it as you can see the timeline as big as you want or as, as small as you want okay for now let's start playing with the videos what uh, what is the timeline let's understand the timeline here is one video right okay i split this in half and let's take this one and put it here what will happen when it plays uh, just think of it as a layer so the the top layer will show and the bottom layer won't show for example i mean the one above the other it's the one that you can see like look and now it will go to this video you see even though this is this still playing but this one is on top of it so it will show this one for example let's uh, put some title here and you can see here in the annotation you have a lot of stuff you can do so for now let's pick this one okay here on the right also it's very important because it's always it will show you the properties of the things you are playing with so for now because you see i click on this one i see the properties of this one if i click on my video here or here I will see the properties of the video okay so here let's make for example this let's keep it white let's make you see I click here to change the color of the text let's let's say I want it yellow and I will write hi YouTube you see now it's hi YouTube of course you can just it's very easy guys with the mouse you can make it as big or as small as you want Let's put it right here. And of course I put the text in the middle from here. You can choose if you want it here, here, or wherever you want. So let's keep it in the middle. And you can see that it's really not nice, right? So let's make the opacity a bit lower like that, where you can see the video under it. And let's remove this green thing around it because the border is not nice. Let's make it zero, you see, now it's zero and we can make shadow if we want for example you can <clears throat> let's make the shadow a little bit you see you you can see the shadow right here let's make it you see you can make the offset as much as you want it's really easy guys okay so these are the annotations you can play around with it it's really easy to understand it just when you play around you will understand it automatically it's not that hard and here there are stuff like if you want to blur something let's say i don't want to show these three here the, so these trees won't show if i put it right here and of course you can always play with everything in the properties on the right so for example the intensity of the blur how, how much do you want to blur this thing you see i can make it really blurry or really not that much it depends on your taste okay so i will delete it now and let's see other stuff you can make the transitions transitions is very important because because you know when you want to make a nice video you put them like okay let's say you want to go from this video to this video right but this doesn't look that nice so you can make it fade or fade through black or flip or whatever you think let's make it page roll for example just to show you and of course you can play with this by your own it's really easy all the transitions are right here so i'll put it right here and let's play it before the transition to see what really happens look at it now and as you can see it rolled it out to the next scene it's really easy the transitions are all in here uh, by the way, don't uh, think this is the same as the blur that we saw before. Let me delete the transition and show you. It's just only transition. Like if I put it right here, it will blur out to the next scene. Look at it now. It blurs and goes to the next scene. Okay, now let's see other stuff. The behaviors. Behaviors are, are nice because it, it's like already pre-made. You don't have to make your own animation. These behaviors are really awesome that comes with Camtasia. Let's show you, for example, the um, sliding one. 
So you can either, you see, I drag it here or you drag it on the timeline, depending on what uh, video or picture you want. So let me drag it on the text here and see what happens. And you can always, always see by yourself. You can always see and check for yourself what each behavior does. So let's play with it. Look, you see now it has animated the text for us. Okay, of course with the animation, let's say you don't want it to go in like that. You only want it to go out. So here is the end during and out. And the sliding thing here that is written is the one we chose from the behaviors. So let's say I don't want it to do anything when it enters. All you need to go right here and press on none. You see now it will not do anything when it starts. You see, pop, it just popped as you want. Of course, the, du the duration of it right here, it still does stuff and the out still does stuff. You can play with the speed, the style, the movement, direction, everything. It's really easy user-friendly and it will make your video so, it will look really professional. That's what I love about Camtasia. It's really easy to handle and still very, very good professional software. The animation, uh, let me show you what you can do with animation. Uh, right now there is the video, right? And what you can do is make it zoom in on the, on let's see the C right here, right? And it will automatically make it for you uh, how to say it's swift like it will it's really easy like swift transition to the zoom in look at it you see where is the arrow right here it just zooms in look at this again you see and if you want to make it like longer right like you want to zoom in but uh, in uh, slower paced you can just drag like this you see the arrow right here and I will make it zoom really slow look at this now you see now it's nice uh, like it depends on your of course on your video that you are making and let's see the animation these animations you can do by your own what i mean is let's say you want to make some type of animation let's say uh, let's find the picture let's say this me i was <laughs> once i was trying to <laughs> draw myself okay okay let's say this is me, right? I don't know why it looks like that, but whatever. Okay, now let's say I'm here, right? So what you can do with it, you can make your own animation by just dragging the custom one here and make it animate like that. By the way, before I forget to say, uh, you can make it, you see, because it's a big, it's a picture, so you can make it as, as long or as short as you want. Let's keep it like that and Let's make the animation length something like that, okay? Now what I want to do is right here, it begins here, right? Because I made it start here. This is the starting position. Now after the arrow, let's say here, I want the image, the image to be here, or let's say like that. So look what happens, because it's a custom animation, we just made it move from here to here by the duration of this arrow. So let's see that. Now the video is playing and as you can see, it goes with my animation. It's really easy when you try it yourself, you will find how easy it is guys. It's really, really easy. I'm trying to give you all the information you need to start right now after this tutorial to make your own video guys. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the audio and what you can do with audio. Oh, before I forget, for example, this video, right? Let's go back with this one. Let's say I want this video to come into the scene like something weird, but whatever, because it's tutorial, so we don't care. First of all, I want to make it a little bit smaller like that, you see. And now with the properties right here or with the, <clears throat> of course, with the properties, you can make it rotate position. You can play with this by yourself or scale it up or down however you want or the opacity you can give it or whatever. You can all like find everything you need here. But let's say you want to, um, uh, the visual effects I want to show you first. Let's make. Let's say you want to show a border because look, now you can barely see between the, the difference between two videos. So let's make a border for this one and give it a border of, as you can see, it's in its properties right now. And let's give it a thickness of, I don't know, 10. Of course, you, you, you think it's like the 10 is the maximum, but of course you can play with it like like you can type and as you can see it's double now because I put 20 
let's make it um, yellow I don't know why today everything is yellow for me and let's make it um, let's animate it okay so what I want to do is I want it here right you of course you can play with the custom animations that we already saw but let's give it a behavior animation which is already built in with the software let's make it jump and fall so I only put it on the uh, like I drag it and drop it on my on the video like as you can see here it has animation and let's see what happens now look at it like it does all the work you need you see now it drops it jumps and it falls just give it a minute and it falls you see it's really easy guys really you can play with everything I just want you to start making your videos right now now let's talk about the audio effects okay first of all these videos don't have any audio but if they do you can right click and here because it doesn't have an audio you can't see anything but you can click on separate audio from video and you will get both the audio and video to play with each by itself let's add a video mm. Let's find a, I'm sorry, let's, uh, uh, let's add this audio for example. Of course I drag it and drop it here wherever I want. And as you can see, you can put wherever you want it to be. Actually you can press S as we have learned already, right? And you can split it. You want it to start from here. It all depends on however you want it. Okay, now let's listen to it with the audio. Actually, let me put this one on top of everything to keep showing the high YouTube thing. You see, it's all with the layers. You can play with the layers as you want. And you can add, by the way, as much layers as you want. You see now, it's with music. But, but if you listen to it, listen. It starts directly with music, which is weird. It's not like how we are usually... Like we, we don't usually suddenly hear music because it's weird so what you can do is fade in as you can see here in the audio effects and put it on your song now look at what will happen it will fade in the music you see it makes it louder and louder and at the end let's say we will we want to split it at the end of the project which is approximately here and fade out look how it will fade out at the end You see, it doesn't just cut off suddenly like that because it's weird. You want to make it good. And let's say you can, of course, because we are playing, as you can see here, the project is too small for the timeline. So you can zoom in and make it easier for you to play with it. You see here, you can zoom in or zoom out to make it as big or as small as you want. So in the visual effects, we already talked a little bit about it, but let's say, let's take this video. Of course, don't forget to click on the thing that you want to make. Uh, just to make sure that you don't put it on other video, right? So let's make you want to make um, The colorized thing. Let's see what it does, right? So you put it on top of this one You see now it's green and of course you can choose whatever color Let's say you want it a red color, right? Or you want it blue color, whatever you want you just it's just one click it's really easy of course you can ease in and out you can play with it as you want I'm not gonna go with this one but I want to show you that you can play with the amount of the blue that you want just to make it a little bit real you see now make it cold or if you want to make it like a romantic scene or whatever you just put red and make it a little bit like you know you don't want it to be like that because it's obvious there's something wrong with it so all you need to do is play with the amount and put as much red as you want to make it a warming scene so basically now I teach like I taught you everything you need about Camtasia of course you can record with Camtasia by clicking here but we already learned how to record with OBS I personally prefer OBS but if you want you can record with Camtasia as well by clicking here and you can see it will tell you that you can start to record here you can make it if you want full screen or custom if you press on custom screen you can choose as you can see here what screen you want to uh, to record but I will leave it on full screen right now. If you have a camera, you can turn it on or audio. I, for me, now the audio is off because I'm recording with a OBS. Okay, so let's press X and let's go back. The recording really is easy, but if you have any problem with the recording, just ask me and I will answer as always. And for now, that's what I want to teach you. I don't want it to make a long, long, really long tutorial. I just want you to 
to get you started you, you can play with the drop shadow here in visual effects device frame or whatever let me show you like put device frame right uh, here on this one and as you can see I put uh, like you can you can play with it it's really 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 easy I just want you to get the basics and start playing around with it and of course if you have questions I will answer whatever you have and Later on, I will see what kind of tutorials I will make to make you more uh, think how to make your video better or, you know, more professionally or whatever. But for now, it's really easy. If you like it, make sure to subscribe and like the video. And later on, we will see you in the next tutorial. If you found it helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to get notified when my next video is up. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to answer your questions. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. See ya!